Welcome back everyone, Tina here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can allow or disallow duplicate contacts to be created inside the CRM. Now this is particularly interesting for contacts coming from Zapier or coming via a form. This settings does not work for uploading contacts via a CSV file. Now let me show you how you can adjust those settings. So first of all you want to click on settings bottom left then definitely stay on the business profile, which is pre-selected when you get there. Then you want to scroll down until you see contact duplication preferences. Okay. So here you can decide whether or not you want to allow duplicate contacts. Again, this only works if you get contacts sent via Zapier or collect them via a form. These settings will not override. These will not work for the contacts that you upload via CSV file into the contacts tab, because there the system automatically already detects the duplicates and will ask you, hey, which one do you want or do you want to merge them? Now, if you are collecting contacts via Zapier or a form and you want to allow duplicate contacts, you just turn this on and that's it. This way, the system will just create another contact with the same email address or with the same phone number. If you disallow, if you turn off this toggle, then you can decide whether or not you want to find existing contacts based on the phone or email first, okay? And then the second preference for search via email or none, okay? So when this is disabled, new information coming in, so existing contacts will be updated instead of newly created. Now here, this is set to phone by default, we can change this to email and it matches contacts based on the email first. It then checks the phone number or none. It's really up to you. Okay. Now, when is allowed duplicates contacts interesting? For example, when the same individual needs to exist as a separate record in different workflows, if there are different departments of a company, for example, and they need to exist in there simultaneously. And again, when disabled, it ensures that the existing contact will be updated instead of newly created. So if you wanted to merge contacts on the individual basis, you just find the contacts, you can merge up to 10 contacts, you select them all, click this button, merge up to 10 contacts. And then here we go, this field pops up where the system asks you, which data point do you want to keep? Contact number one, same person has these data points, contact number two, same person has these data points. And then that's how you can go through and update the data. And that's it already, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you allow or disallow duplicate contacts inside the CRM. I'll see you in the next video.